Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to revisit the uh, DaVinci Code Cryptex that I made a while back. And it's been on the uh, it's been on YouTube now for over a year and I've given out quite a few blueprints and I thought that I would uh, show you some of the special tools in the tooling that I use to make this thing. So, let me get it apart here and give you a better look at it for one. And then I'll get into the uh, the tooling that I used for this. And there's the one end cap and the key. Okay. And let's take this thing apart. That's three little screws is all that holds the thing together, but that's all you need. And here's the end ring, it's brass, navy brass. The machine's a little different than I like navy brass. And it's got my name, the date, the serial number, and it says Cryptex stamped in it. And this piece and the other five rings, other five letter rings and index rings, have this square notch in it. Now I did the square notch on the lathe with a high speed tool, sharpened to that width, and I set it up on the lathe, and I made uh, a few thousandths pass at a time with this tool until I had the slot cut. So that's how I was able to put the 180, I think it's 130 thousandths deep, a little over an eighth of an inch, in these pieces. rings out. Here's the other end of it. The uh, end caps are identical except for the bore. These have been pressed in. Both of them have been pressed into place. There's enough meat on this that it holds it you're not going to get it back out there's another look at this piece or a better look at this now let's talk about the uh, letter wheel and index rings Okay, these, here's the index ring, and you'll notice that the 180 notch, there's a quarter inch locator right above it, one of the 26 holes for the, uh, to index it to whatever letter of the alphabet you want it. Now, I drilled these out on the drill press after I made a fixture. And this fit on here was clamped up and I was able to drill the 26 holes. Now, in order for me to make this, I 
I made this piece on a horizontal rotary table, a phase two horizontal rotary table. And I had some parts, this locates it, locates right in the center of the uh, rotary table. The rotary table I set up on the mill and indicated in perfect on the spindle and then I dial it out. Then I dial it out from the center to the center of these holes. And I was able to drill this. I held it on. the rotary table so that I could drill out this drill fixture on there. Tighten that down and I was able to get in here and clamp this piece down and drill all of these. Now when you divide 360 degrees by 26 it doesn't come out to luckily or unluckily it doesn't come out to an even number it comes out uh, to 13 degrees 13 degrees 50 minutes 46.15 seconds now you have to dial that in each time on rotary table you have to dial have to dial that in. Now one complete turn of this handle is four degrees so you would turn it three times and you'd be at 12 degrees then you'd take it to the next degree which is right on here is a fourth of the, the wheel and then you gotta dial in the 50 minutes and then you get down to the 40 46.15 seconds now you might have to play with your rotary table a little bit to make sure that you're going to come out even and so you know make a test pass first you know you're going to have to do dial it 26 times. Now after you dial it into this then you have to reset your dial here to zero so you can do the next hole until you get this made. But once this is made then it makes drilling out five of these easy. So there's one of the tools I made and I had to have the rotary table to do it. I'm sure there's other ways if you had a dividing head and indexing plates and there's a few other probably several other ways of doing this this is just how I did it okay and then for this for the letter ring itself I only have to drill a half a hole in it and so I just made another fixture and I drilled the I, I bored these up to size I could have left meat on there and then popped it into this and drilled that hole. But since I wanted these very concentric so I wouldn't see any, you know, if there's a two thousandths run out you'd have four total. So I just made this and you can see where I've drilled the five of them. And so if I just wanted to drill a fresh hole I'd clamp this onto here and then pick out and make sure that it's going to be dead center with one of these, with one of the letters in between the lines. So that is how I made these two parts. So I did have to make special tools and in order to make this special tool 
I had to have a rotary table. Like I said, that's not the only way you can do it, but it, it is how I did it. Now, also, once I had rotary tables set up to make this, I just dialed it out further and I made a larger plate that has 26. It's been used for other things, but this fits on the back of my spindle on the lathe. It just slides right onto the spindle and I can lock it down. And then where the... Uh, Where the cover goes for the gear housing on the lathe, I pull it off and I put this in its place. It's just a bar that fits in there and it fits right next to the plate. There's probably a little bit of a gap. I leave a little gap in there and then that way I can in use the lathe as an index. And that's how I scribed the lines on the letter rings. So just this alone would be easier to pick up by hand. You really would you wouldn't need a rotary table because out of this, you know, here you're only out on this particular piece, you're only out from the center three quarters of an inch if that. three-quarter to eight-tenths of an inch. So it's a little hard to pick all those holes up by hand. You know, center punch and then drill it accurately. That's where the, the rotary table really comes in handy. But with a larger plate, now the holes are spaced. Oh, let's see. The holes look like they're spaced over or right at nine-tenths of an inch. So almost an inch. So you'd have a little easier time picking 26 holes up that are oh, what's this I'd say almost three and three quarters inch from center and the farther you know the larger diameter you're dealing with the easier it would be so that I turned the lathe into an index I was able to index the lathe by making that and that helped me strictly with the lines but I could have done other setups to where I could have used like a drill bushing and that index plate and a drill bushing to spot all 26 of these holes and then pick them up on a drill press so you know I could have probably done the whole thing with this adapter plate that I made for the lathe but since I had the rotary table I went ahead and made the drill fixture so that's all I was wanting to I've had quite I've sent out quite a few drawings and uh, only one guy Joe has shown me pictures of his progress in building one of these he's doing a great job and uh, Nobody else is really showing me pictures of what they're building, so I thought that maybe I'd just go over the the tooling that I made. It might give somebody some uh, ideas and get you started on it. Another thing I have that I've used with a rotary table, I've got a small 3-inch rotary table here, and I turn that into a radius turner. I just put a a half inch wrench on the back of it and I can turn right I turn my uh, engraver handles with this I can turn the ends around so this was a nice this saved me a lot of time as far as I had to tighten up tighten it up a little bit so it wasn't as there wasn't as much slop in it I took the dial out and then I made this so that it would be on center on my lathe. So all I have to do is take the compound, cross the compound off, and it bolts right into these bolt holes and allows me to, to turn a radius. So once again, thanks for watching. I hope you get something out of this video, and I appreciate uh, everybody who's subscribed and giving me thumbs up. I've got a lot of good feedback from you guys, and I've been having fun. So I hope you enjoy this video. Have a good day.
Bye.